70th high school reunion. Oh, you bet I am, Lottie. You recognized me. You haven't changed a bit. Oh, you. I I'm sorry. I oh, don't... Lynn. Lynn Bennett. Lynn. Uh, my apologies. I'm a little nervous. I haven't been to any of the reunions. I know. And I've been to all of them. I guess I just never felt the need. Well, I always hoped that you would. Well, the letters would come and I'd set them aside to think about them, and somehow I never ended up going. Oh, I kept in touch with a few friends, but I was always so busy. Well, and I'm, the, I'm glad you did. The reunion committee was very insistent. It was hard to ignore all those letters. Well, this could be our last chance. That's what the reunion committee said. I suppose that's true. I, I'm really out of the loop. Well, you've been missed. Really? I haven't thought of high school or those people for so long. Hey, remember Howie Peters? We voted him class clown. He made me laugh so. He's gone. Emphysema. Oh, no. That's awful. Silly, funny Howie. You know who I'd really like to see was Patsy Parker. We sat next to each other in homeroom. Parker, Parkinson. We joked that because of our last names that we'd be friends forever, but I haven't seen her since high school. She died just recently, actually. Oh, no. Suddenly, I miss her. That big, goofy smile, remember that? Oh, I wish we'd kept in touch. Mary Albright, Oh, she's liver cancer, about 20 years ago. 20 years already? Yeah, she ended up marrying uh, Carmine Jackson. Remember him from the football team? That smoothie, I never thought he'd settle down. Is he here? Oh, before Mary, actually. He had Alzheimer's. Oh, that's the worst. I thank God for my mind. If you have your mind, you have your life. Mary had a tough time of it, though. I should have sent her a note, but I didn't know. She got the cancer shortly thereafter. Oh, poor thing. My husband died of cancer, pancreas. Been nearly five years now. I heard. I'm sorry. I was going to send a note, but I didn't know if it would be appropriate. I never thought it would seem so hard to remember that life, the one with him in it. <laughs> Maybe my mind really is going. It all starts to seem that way, doesn't it? High school seems so many lives ago. Hmm. I bet the reunion committee had quite a time trying to round up people after all these years. Well, a lot of folks kept coming all along their way of kind of staying in touch. I missed a lot, didn't I? Well, you know how they go. Not really. Tell me. Well, the first one, after 10 years, there was a lot of, uh, remember this, remember that, and catching up, you know. Do you have kids? What kind of work do you do? Who made it and who dared not show up? Who got fat? Ten years later, we were all fat. And we started counting divorces and remarriages. Uh, until Carmine brought up the big game like he always did. Then there was a slideshow and, and a lot more catching up. But the next one, I think, is when we started talking about how we were all getting old. How it might not be so bad to be back in high school. After that, we started losing folks. I, I don't know. 
I guess we were all just, just happy to have one another, to have memories to share with people who knew us when, when we didn't walk so slow, when our lives were, were full of hope, when we first fell in love. Benjamin Brack, I don't suppose. 98, Lou Gehrig's. I wish I'd known that. I really wish I'd known that. I spoke to him quite a few times over the years. If it helps any, he remembered you fondly. As I remember him. Where did the time go? Fluttered by like a butterfly. Beautiful, fleeting. That's very poetic, Len, and sad. Sad for Ben and Patsy and Mary and... I remember them as so young. It's sad for me, too, that nobody remembers me like that, a fresh-faced girl. I remember you. Y you like blue sweaters. Yes. And I liked you in your blue sweaters. Oh, Len, you're making an old woman blush. And, and you wore your hair in braids every Friday. It was always getting dirty by then. <laughs> and you organized a scrap drive, and you pushed everyone in town to get involved. I just wanted to do something instead of worrying all the time about my brothers. They made it home? Yes, they did. They made it home and had families and lives, and I have nieces and nephews scattered all around. Do you remember when I interviewed you for the class newspaper? You said that it was everybody's job to, to get involved. You said that just because we were students and, and not on the front line, that didn't give us any excuse for not helping in any way that we could. I said that? Oh, how self-important you must have thought me. Oh, not at all. I was proud to share your views in the school paper and the trumpeter. The trumpeter. I haven't thought of that in years. My picture was in there once when I was protesting that girls should be able to play sports. You were busy even then. Here. You saved them. My earliest bylines. I, I don't like to let things go. Really seems another lifetime. By Leonard Bennett. Oh, my, you're Lenny Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's called me that since the last reunion. <laughs> you sat behind me four years in a row in English class. You always asked how my weekend was. Yes. And smelled like venom. That was my dad's. <laughs> and you asked me to go to the senior ball before you realized that Benjamin had asked me already. Yes. I can't believe I didn't recognize you, Lenny Betty. Well, it's been a long time. But you recognized me. You haven't changed a bit. Oh, dear. What happens if, if I don't recognize anybody? You've seen them over the years, but I... Lottie. It would be so embarrassing if, if everybody recognized me. Lottie. Yes? We're it. What do you mean? We're it. We're what's left of the class. Oh, oh that can't be true. It's true. They said that, that the reunion was, was important, that it was our last chance. It is our last chance. The reunion committee? Lottie, I am the reunion committee. Just you? All by myself. You sent all those letters. I wanted you to come. How could I have not known that we're the only ones left? Well, you've been busy. So there's no reunion? Well, yes, there is. But you just said. Lottie. I have dinner reservations for two. Won't you join me in the 70th reunion of PS 92? Just us. Just us and our memory. 